Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Christine. Today I am doing some AliExpress. This I've accumulated a while ago and I still got more stuff coming. As you know, AliExpress is very, it, like lots of stuff that are very cheap. Like cheap as in affordable prices. And I like to get their things, that are just little small things there once in a while. And it's nice to get it in your mailbox like a little surprise once in a while. So these are the stuff that I accumulated lately. I've been buying a lot of masks, but I don't have it here with me because once I get it, I put it in the washer and, but I do have my daughter's here. And this is the one that I purchased for her. I've probably got her like five pairs of these. And the outside, it's got the characters. So this one is obviously from Frozen 2 and inside it is cotton and the out so it's two materials right here so the cotton the inside is cotton and the front part is like um polyester I would assume is the material on that on the outside and this one sh her friend she says has been like she's been getting a lot of compliments on this so it's one of those that you wear like this and you just hang it so when she's outside when they have when they play so she just puts it down like this and it just looks like that and it's got flowers on it it's one of those that you snap just like that i've also purchased ones with a um not kind it's almost like a one of those clip ones almost like the carabiner type but of course it hasn't arrived yet but hopefully it'll arrive soon and so it's just like that Put it on and if you don't need it you just have it down like this instead of trying to put it in your pocket or around what I usually like to do is put it on my wrist and hang it like that but I think this is more convenient also I gotten one of these as well the I wasn't expecting this to be this big I was expecting it to be a lot smaller maybe like you know like just that size instead of this but this is for your for your mask so it's a, a case you put it in and if you don't need it you just put it in here or you like your, your extra mask that you have so that's what I like to do as well I have more than one just in case if um, I lose one of them or if one of them is dirty and I just go ahead and put them in one of these like that and it snaps well this one doesn't want to snap quite well because I got the little um, lanyard I guess you'd call it but yeah it's just made for your your mask so just like that I have these as well and the other one just like this so these are for um, I gave two to my daughter and I get to keep two as well. And also I got this ones. This one, it's for your, so it came in two packets like this. So there's four pieces. So it's one, the bottle and the little contain the little container thing that you hang this out so you don't have to put it in your purse. And this is what it looks like when you have it. So there, it comes in four pieces just like that. So you put your, your hand sanitizer in here and you put this in right here. So if you want, you can hang it out on your purse. Let me see what, I, what kind of purse I have in here. I just have this one here for now. Like, you know, grab a carabiner. I love carabiners. So... You know, it's easy to take on and off and you can just have it without have it, having to dig with your dirty hands in your purse. Also, I had purchased some, my son likes, my oldest son, he likes, um, what do you call this, chopsticks. So I got a few chopsticks in here because I gave him a bunch of it, but of course he's got it at his dad's. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just going to get him these so I got a few of them in here and also for me I bought these ones the flowery ones for me and there are one two three four pieces in here just like that I've also gotten the black ones these are nice because these are pretty heavy 
you can tell they got some weight in them. And just like that, you take them out. Again, these weren't very pricey. I would assume, from what I remember, it's probably about a few dollars at the most. So see, and it's quite heavy. I like this. I like how it feels in your hand. And another black one right here. These came with two, two sets. So it's one of these. See the patterns on them? And another one right here. So these are identical. Just gonna take one out. This one is not as weighted as the other ones right here. So see the difference? Not much of a difference. Just the weight itself. And this one has the little silver um, patterns right there. All right, and for makeup, I had purchased these. This is called Fuera. It's Jelly Beam Eye Gloss. I've already taken them out just to check them out when I did receive them. And I got four of these. So this one is Wisteria. Wisteria? I think that's how you pronounce it. Hopefully it's picking it up. And when you open it, it's got the little thing here, the little foil. And let's see, open it up, it looks like this. And when you swatch it, it's just, it feels jelly, just like the name, like that. And when you put it on, let's see, just like this. And it looks pretty good. No scent at all. I like the color. I have yet to use it because I wanted to do a video on this first. And also I had purchased the lilac. That's what it's called, 110 lilac. Open it up. Again, it's got the foil on the top. Open it up. This one is slightly different. I don't know what happened to this. I guess just from traveling, it went and went flat on me. It's not as plumpy as the other one or <laughs> exciting as the other one. But here it looks is the swatch. And the other ones that I've purchased, you know, they look so much better on the pictures, don't they? <laughs> Until you get it kind of like when you buy all this um, food, you know, like McDonald's. It looks so good on the picture or the commercials and you get it. It's not the same. So the last, okay, the last two are, this is number 112 Bor Borage or Borage. Just like that. Open it. Just clean my hands here so I don't get everything messy. Okay. This is the shade, it's like purplish blue, it looks like. Looks like that. And that's the swatch. You know, when I swatch it, it looks more bluish, but it's got a hint of purple to it. There you go. And the last one, this is Number 109 Hibiscus. So I, I just want to add also that the jar is plastic and it's got the name on the top of the lid. When you open it, 
Oh, this one is really flat. I think it's almost dried off. So it looks like this pretty much. It almost looks empty. So I don't know. Perhaps I could put some water in there and make it plump up. I'm not sure. Yeah, out of all the ones here, this is the one that's a, <laughs> kind of like a dud. But that's the color. It's still beautiful. Like that. And as you can see, there's the shade right there. Don't they look so pretty? Yeah. This one, like I said, is dried up. Let me see if I can put water in it. And I really don't want to go have to return it or something just for that. So let's see what I can do with it. And... The other items that I've purchased, this one is You Can Be Crystal Luster Eye Color. So it's not a cute little box right there. And if you open it up, it's a little jar. Looks like a jar of pigment. And on the top, it says You Can Be. And number six, Aurora bottom it says there's a little plastic on the top and this one doesn't have um, it's just the plastic itself it doesn't have that little strainer thing so we have to be careful not to spill it everywhere <laughs> okay I'm gonna put some on the lid see oopsies even that is like whoa so that's what it looks like just I just tried tapping a little bit and that's what it what came out eventually so I'm gonna put some on my hand so we can get a swatch and see how this one looks and try to figure out how to put those ones back in there afterwards that is the swatch Wow that is beautiful oh wow that's so pretty then again I got lots of it there but it is so pretty oh my gosh just like the picture that one I really like and okay, I'm gonna put this aside these two since I can't put it back in there just like that but so far these are the swatches I got going on here that is the brand you can be there it got other colors as well but out of all the ones that they had this the, this is the one that stood out to me but you know what I'm gonna go check out what they have afterwards and see what else I can get out of there and I got a pile of mess here I'm trying to figure out which is which no this is my pen we don't need the pen I have three eyeliners that I bought and it says waterproof protection lip and eyeliner pencil this is from d v davis open it up so this this is what it says on just the bag right there and the color is let's see color 24 that's all it says it doesn't have a name and this is what it looks like and I'm gonna put it here is the swatch like that and this is what it looks again the other ones I purchased this is number on the bag it says number three And let's see, yep. The color 07 is what it says on this. I'm trying to see right there if it can focus on us. I'm not sure, but there you go. It looks like this, very similar to the other one, but as you swatch it, it's very close. I think this one is a little darker than this and this looks has a like a periwinkle blue instead of like a navy blue 
but it's very, very close. Again, on the picture, it looked different. That's why I bought both of them. And this other one is number one. Just like that. It looks like this. I like the shades greens. And this one is like a very, you know, like minty, I guess is what you'd call it, green. But that is very pretty. I would like to use this on my lid. That's what I would use this for. And especially for the summer, that would be great. Okay, and the last one that I purchased are, is just this one. This is called Alan Shaw Lipless Cream Lip Gloss, right there. And it is a number three. And when you open it, it just looks like that. Number three is what it says on the back. And when you open it, looks like this is the applicator. Nothing fancy. It's got a slight mint um, scent to it. And when you swatch it, looks like that. I'll put it on on top of what I have right now so we get an idea how it looks. Okay. What I'd probably do with this is um, darken my, eye, my, my lip liner just so it doesn't look so intense. So that's what it looks like. And again, this is the swatch. And these are the other swatches of the other um, makeup that, I ha that I've purchased. And you know, if you guys were interested in purchasing any of these at AliExpress, I hope that helps you. And give this a thumbs up. And if you like videos like this, I like to do videos like this. And I will see you next time.